Bosque de Chapultepec, the largest urban park in extension in Latin America. French sculptor Georges Gardet was commissioned by the architect Henri Jean Emile Bernal to make a pair of lions for the grand staircase of the Federal Legislative Palace, property of which President Porfirio Diaz laid the first stone on September 23, 1910, and could not be concluded. Today, the Monumento a la Revolución. The lions were taken to the main entrance of the Chapultepec Forest, known as the Puerta de los Leones, the Lion's Gate, which was inaugurated on September 17, 1921. These are two lion-shaped bronze sculptures that stand on imported granite pedestals from Germany. According to Bernard's request to Gardet, the feline figures had to follow the idea that the sculptor Antoine Louis Baer had achieved. He led the animals to be protagonists of the works by printing characteristics that made them look absolutely real, as opposed to landscape figures. We can inevitably find around the entrance Estela de Luz, which we will see more in depth in a later video and also the Torre Mayor and skyscrapers around the area. As we keep moving towards the castle, the amount of things we can see gets greater and greater. It has 648 hectares. Just to put it in perspective, Central Park has 345 hectares. When you come, this gallery is a must. Make sure you stop by and admire the simple yet informative richness of this gallery. a la patria, made by Ernesto Tamaris. It serves as a tribute to the cadets of the military school who gave their lives to defend Chapultepec Castle from the U.S. invasion on September 13, 1847. On that date, 200 cadets of the military school, which at the time had its headquarters in the castle, and 632 soldiers of the San Blas Battalion defended the castle from the attack of 8,000 American soldiers in their advance towards Mexico City. The monument is located in the first section of Chapultepec Forest. The hemicycle is formed by six white columns that protect the figure of a woman whose right arm proudly hugs a young man, and in the free hand, a flag. The monument was designed by the sculptor Ernesto Tamaris and the architect Enrique Aragón. It is sober and cold, built in white Carrara marble that stands out throughout the work. The monument was inaugurated in 1952. Fuente de la Templanza, commissioned to be built by President Pascual Ortiz Rubio in 1931, this set shows David with his sling as the main character, the work of sculptor Enrique Guerra. This piece 
which shows the winner of the mythical giant Goliath on an almost real scale, was made by the author many years before, around 1908, without knowing what the final destination of the effigy would be. It was placed in the building of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1910. When this building was demolished, the sculpture remained stored for years until it was installed in the Chapultepec Forest. The fountain is part of a landscape developed in several planes. In the first one is the sculpture of David with the sling. Behind it is the actual fountain, then the sergeant, and the monumental tribute. Tribuna Monumental Dedicated to the memory of pilots who made up Squad 201, Escuadrón 201, this space is located behind the famous Agüehuete known as the Sergeant. Carved in fine white stone, this monument is known as the Monumental Tribune because its design evokes those bleachers in which the Romans sat to listen to the speeches or announcements that the rulers had prepared for them during the best years of the empire. Transferring this concept to the area of Chapultepec Forest, the so-called monument to the fallen eagles remembers 
each of the pilots who participated in that mission, in which Mexican points were reached by Japanese bullets during the development of the final phase of World War II, with two plates located on the sides and in the center of the tribute. And these appear with large golden letters, the names and positions of the more than 200 men who made up that historic group. Aguahuete el Sargento. According to tradition, it was the famous poet king of Texcoco, Netzahualcoyotl, who, on one of his many walks through the Chapultepec forest, invited by the Tlatuani of Tenochtitlan, Moctezuma Ilhuicamina, planted this once robust tree around 1460. It is now 15 meters tall, though at one point it was over 40 meters tall, 12.5 meters in circumference, and it lived about 500 years. Nowadays, although the so-called sergeant is a long-lasting tree, it is no longer a living being. However, his thick trunk still looks strong as the Texcocan sovereign and his counterpart. The first Moctezuma envisioned him when they planted a beautiful spring morning in the Valley of Mexico over 500 years ago. Although today is dry and in ruins, for a long time here there were a series of containers that accumulated the liquid from the three springs of the hill and that were used to supply the city with water. The springs began to be exploded during the government of Moctezuma Ilhuicamina, thanks to a design by Netzahualcoyotl in 1466, 